So I put these beaver tails in there. Uh, we, this auto tanner here. This is uh, B part two. And they, I pressurized it and they've been in there since yesterday. Um, I went ahead and it, I let it agitate for two hours and then turned it off. So I'm gonna open up this valve here, release the pressure out of the tank. We'll let that pressure out and then we will go ahead and remove our wing nuts holding our door on. So we're going to check and see how well they tanned up in here. Like I said, this is my first time using an auto tanner, so, uh, but I came up with a recipe for tanning the tails. I want to get some tanned up uh, and be able to offer it as a service as well through the shop. Uh, see what we got in here, should be ready to go. I got a uh, tub down underneath here. Make sure I got it in the view. There we go. So I'm gonna rotate this drum. Just gonna let everything just wash on out into that tank, into that tub. They look pretty good. So let me pull one out. There it is. Let me make sure it's in the picture here. Yep, there we are. Okay, there it is. Um, so they're pretty. They're. Uh, you can see now the color difference is a little bit darker. Um, they've, they've definitely changed. Um, still, of course, very flexible. Uh, they should have m most of the oil and grease pulled out by now. So there's still a few little high spots I can see now that have plumped up overnight. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thin these back down with a knife a little bit, get these high spots taken back off. And then we're going to put them in there for the next process. And um, we'll check back on that in another video. So... Um, yep, so we're gonna go go ahead and get that taken care of and we'll see uh, see you on the next one.